Because Thomas is the one who said, we don't know where you're going. How can we know the way? And verse 6, Jesus says, I am the way. I am the truth. I'm the life. What Jesus does, what he, what he promises in, in chapter 14, what he does for real in chapter 20, is he gives the disciples who are struck with fear, he gives them himself. He gives them his peace through his own presence. It's the presence of Jesus in our lives that brings, fe- uh, that brings peace in the midst of fear. For those of us who are following Jesus, the uncertainty of life doesn't change just because you're following Christ. There's still uncertainty, but where the peace comes from is actually his very presence. In John 14, verse 25, J- Jesus begins to tell the disciples that he's gonna send the Holy Spirit to be with us forever. All this I've spoken while with you, but the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. Peace I leave with you, verse 27. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Jesus wants to move us from, you know, what is justifiable, recognizable fear because of the uncertainty of life and move us to a place where peace is what marks us. And how does he do this? He does it by his very presence. The presence of Jesus brings us peace. And for us, it's this spirit of Jesus that lives in us and among us and leads us from day to day. His very presence, it brings peace to us because we know that we're not left alone. We are not been orphaned, have we? We've not been orphaned. His spirit brings peace. The end of, verse, of end of chapter 15, when the advocate comes, who I will send to you from the Father, the spirit of truth, who goes out from the Father, he will testify about me. And you also must testify, for you have been with me from the beginning. End of, verse, uh, end of John 16, verse 7, very truly I tell you, it is for your good that I am going away. Unless I go away, the advocate will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. Jesus sends his spirit to his followers. Down in verse 12, I have much more to say to you, more than you can now bear, but when he, the spirit of truth, comes, he will guide you into all the truth. He will not speak on his own. He will speak only what he hears, and he will tell you what is to come. He will glorify me because it is from me that he will receive what he will make known to you. All that belongs to the Father is mine. That is why I said the spirit will... Uh, will receive from me what he will make known to you. This is the reality of the Christian life. Jesus is with us, and peace is the result from his presence. Now-